Hello and welcome to an absolutely crazy season of Akuma MC Prison. Season number 8 here, we got a bunch of brand new changes which I'm gonna briefly go over, but first of all you can see the spawn got a makeover which looks absolutely amazing. I actually love this. So to briefly go over some of the changes, number one, we got skill trees back which I'm super excited about. I'll be looking over that more later on. We've got challenges, mind cap, Enchant changes, pets overhaul, and one that I'm really excited about, bubble gum. Now, I'm not going to look over all of these. You can find it for yourself on the site. All the information down in the description. However, a lot of this I'm also going to be checking out as we play. There's also a uh, different armor. Uh, new rebirth, or not, not new rebirth armor, but new um, ultimate armor, I do believe, or something like that. Yes, we've got the ascendant ultimate armor. We've got the locksmith ultimate armor but you gotta max all armors for that and of course i couldn't do that last season so i doubt i'm gonna be able to do it this season i'm gonna go ahead and head to my mine and i've got some things to open one of the other changes we did get as well was actually mine skins i've got a lot of things to open and a lot of things to mess with now some of it i'm not gonna mess with at the moment um uh, my boosters i'll i'll get in a little bit i'm not gonna mess with anything that doesn't matter at the moment so this and this can go up Pet eggs are definitely important. That can go up. These will be saved for later. Uh, I'm going to save these just for a little bit. Everything is lagging a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do the mystery vaults next. And I don't know which order I'm going to do. I'm just going to put them all down and see what happens. Oh, man. I got a lot of skin boxes, I feel like. Probably not enough to get a skin, right? Oh, starting off with Mind Splitter? Uh, that's, that's pretty good. There were also some huge pet changes, and I'm not entirely sure how it works, uh, but I guess this is a good way to see there's pl uh, pet traits. Uh, but we need a trait ticket, which we do have in here. Oh, there is information, okay. So we got Treasure Seeker. We've got Experience, Stamina, Clone, and uh, Enchantment. I guess this guy's not really that useful right now, so I'm gonna put him for last. And we'll use this guy first. Okay, so I've got my order for my pets. I didn't even look at this freaking guy. Oh my god. Token and rank progress is good, but I don't really like the ability. It's definitely going to be good for later, so I'm going to hold on to it. Alright, so I do have some keys to open, but I'm debating if I should open them now or wait. Because these are going to give me more keys, so I think I'm going to wait. Three V-Kit crates and five Start of the World crates. I'm going to go ahead and start with these three V-Kit crates. Give me something good, please. Pet eggs, pet trait tickets, and tier one attachment box. Pretty good. Here's the thing. I can't use a attachment array up. Yes, I can't use an attachment. That's what I was trying to say. My brain broke for a minute. It was like, wait, what was I trying to say? That guy's just insane. What, how does he compare to a normal drill bit? Okay, or not game. I guess just a better token boost. I kind of like the uh, the double up on it for rank and pick XXP, but kind of like this better. Plus, it's mythical. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I went ahead and used all of my, uh, my robots that I've gotten uh, from kits and claiming stuff and all that. I have 600 trillion. Yo, I'm rich. Um, but I haven't checked them in a minute. They, you know, they didn't gather too much. They haven't been here long. I got one legendary, two epic, and one common for, uh, token. For gem, and I got some gems, mm -mm -mm, I've got two epic, one rare. Absolutely beautiful. Tier one attachment box, times two. What's the ping at? Oh, it's bad. Let's just open up all five of them. I'm just sending it. I don't want this to be all opening the whole time. I want to get some mining, get some progress made and all that. I just got a ho I just got two Halloween shards. I already have that V kit unlocked. I guess I'll just do these first. Just slam right through them. On the bright side, it gets me a lot of tokens, which is going to get me a lot of enchants here in a second. Oh, kid. I didn't mean to do that. It seems like they're just giving out these pet traits like candy, which is actually very freaking nice. And that reminds me, one of the other features we have is actually candy. Um, I don't know if there's a command for it or anything, but it, there are candy you can get, uh, or is candy you can get on the server, which is super freaking awesome. I'm super excited to check those out and see what goodies we can get from them. I just got two different skins. I'm not going to open anything that I get from these keys. I'm just going to go ahead and say that outright. I'm just trying to get... Actually, if I'm just trying to get more tokens and stuff, why don't I just go for the best ones? What am I thinking? Obviously, token miner has to get maxed out. Of course, so does Bolt. 
We gotta have that. Token merchant? Yeah, might as well. Treasure finder? You know what? Sending it on that as well. I, I believe that'll be pretty good. I want to level up my pickaxe fast, so I'm maxing out XP. Now, this is where I'm going to slow down a little bit. Actually, scratch that. I, I want to get that. The only thing I don't have is jackhammer, which I can get a lot into. Or meteor shower. Let me go and just max out meteor shower and put the rest into jackhammer. It'll be a while before I unlock anything good. Uh, that's a decent amount of levels into it. 1,500 already. I'm pretty happy with that. I gotta grab my boosters back out. I completely forgot about those. Let's activate those. Activate our pet and officially get to mining. I want to try and make some big progress today. Why do I feel so slow? Ah, they brought these back. Right. So we got slash tutorial, uh, visit your mine, which we did, slash help and mine 100 blocks. Okay, we can do this real fast. Tutorial, which by the way, if you're new to the server, and if, by the way, I have the information down in the description, check out slash tutorial, uh, you can get a free god rank, which is actually really sick. And it just teaches you a little bit about the server as well, so there's really no reason not to. Again, all the information for the server down in the description. Come join Akuma MC, the number one prisons and skyblock server of 2024. Oh, I got a piece of candy, a pumpkin pie, gives me one sweet. So I could probably just do slash sweets, right? Yeah, I got one sweet, nice. I'm assuming there's other commands for that, but I will be probably checking that out also in a later video. So what is my next set of challenges? That actually means that drills are going to be useful again, because a lot of these are probably going to be breaking blocks, I bet. Use slash armor, reach pickaxe level 10, upgrade token miner to 1,000, and mer merchant. Okay, so I've done all of this. I just got to do slash armor and wait. And we'll get another set of challenges that I can just kind of slam through. Now, the challenges are going to be useful, and I'm going to show you why in a second. I haven't exactly utilized it quite yet, uh, which I should as I'm mining, but I'm not going to. Mine a thousand blocks. That is why drills are going to be useful. The drills actually help with the uh, block mining challenges. However, for the first early ones, I'm going to just kind of mine myself. It feels very slow right now, but I mean, to be fair, like, we're actually mining pretty good you know our jackhammer is activating a good bit i forgot to mention because i didn't do a final video for the previous uh season i just kind of left it as it was i could have but i have a lot of other stuff that i was putting out so i just decided to say fuck it um but i did get on and i claimed every single weekly crate i could and my god it was a lot i got like three from my milestones i think i got one from my pass i bought like three or four from slash salvage which was insane and i opened them all and got like a bunch of rewards um and also got 80 dollars worth in coupons and that's how i was able to open so many start of the world crates here today in case you were wondering so i challenged them yup i'm just the best i still haven't shown you guys why that's so good oh man i was kind of waiting to hit a wall i got a pet trade ticket that's pretty cool i might actually go ahead and use that I got mythicals. Mythicals are pretty good. I doubt I'm going to get a masterful, at least for a while. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Especially because I, I got a glimpse of the challenge, and you know what? The One of the challenges I need to do is uh, actually perfect for this. Apply one skin fragment. Oh, no, that's skin fragment. I thought it said pet fragment. Never mind. Let's try. Let's see if I can get one. Well, that was easy, actually. Another quest done. And that's right. You wanted to know why it was so good? Well, hold on. Now I need to mine 2,500 blocks, reach big X level 50, lucky to 50, jackhammer to 1,000. Some of those are done, some of those will have to wait, but you don't have to wait any longer. I'm going to show you why this is so good. Now, first of all, I don't know what skill tree is the best. Um, I'm not really sure. Now, you can see all the different bo uh, benefits, the different boosts, the different everything that they can give you. Uh, Meteor Shower, we don't even have unlocked. Vein Miner, not yet. Gen Finder, not yet. Orb Finder, not yet. Ooh, that could be really good, though. The only thing is I don't have Orb Finder yet, which is a problem. However, that would be very good. I don't know. Four, I get all the way up to this. 4% token boost, 5% pet XP, 2% gem, 2% token. If I end up getting a uh, reroll for that in the future or a, a reset flask, I might go the other path once I get Orb Finder, but I'm not certain. Okay, so I can roll higher tickets to get better chances? You know what? I'm gonna send it. What did I get? Stamina 2. Oh, I see. Stamina level 2 is plus 40%. Oh, okay. So, a plus 40% increase. That's not... That's not bad. I want to see what I can get on this guy, who is uh, also mythical. Give me something good. It gave me Treasure Seeker 1. Ooh, that's a common, isn't it? Oh, I might reroll that now. Stamina 2. I actually like it on this one. 
it has like you know about the same amount of time i'd rather the stamina ones on these i feel like that would be better or on these types of pets not on these ones in particular i'm about to hit level 50 let's go so i'm gonna hit uh lucky 50 and mine 2500 blocks hmm okay i'm instead gonna get 301 uh levels of vein miner vein miner is great for tokens and gems Plus, it also has an added effect with this guy coming up, the dragon pick pet. I also just realized I said, oh, I don't have meteor shower. I do have meteor shower. It's meteor I was thinking of that I don't have. There's a lot of meteor enchants. There's meteor, meteorite, meteor shower. Oh, it's crazy, man. I'm excited to check out some of the new features in future videos. Like I said, there's candy. There's the new pet traits, which I guess I technically already did do. Ha, huh? I said I was going to cover it in a future video, but I'm addicted, man. How could I not? Especially when I already have mythical pets. I mean, how much is it to max it out? Oh, uh, you don't say. Guess I gotta open things. Oh, I use it. I use an ultra drill. I didn't mean to. Yay. Openable. Beautiful. All right, did I see if I could actually use anything yet? Because I did spend, like, a Q on my pickaxe, right? Oh, I have two attachment slots. I have no rune slots, no crystal slots, so I can use attachments. All right, well, I got these I can open, too. Oh, I have enough, don't I? Nailed it. Let's freaking go. All right, well, I've got tier one attachment boxes, which I'm going to go ahead and slam through. Well, vein miner's going to be my best. Uh, and the only one that's actually going to be useful to me, so... Nope, not that one. Oh, yeah, and that's a new challenge for me done, isn't it? Ugh. If it would stop lagging. Please. Please. Open one relic cache. Okay. Use basic rune forge, upgrade jackhammer to 2500, and use slash runes. Well, that's gonna take some time. I gotta, I gotta get prepared for that. I also don't think I have enough rune points for that, but I don't know. Please, I just wanna go a little faster. I'm so slow. So the thing is, I don't think anything really gives me a lot of gems. Like, I have slowly climbed up, but... I don't think I'm going to hit this last hurdle. It's going to take a lot for that. Or, I guess, more Vein Miner. Oh, hey, speaking of Vein Miner. <laughs> vein Miner, I was just talking about you. Oh, my God, I can do it. Lottery, level one. And since I have a little extra, never mind. I also really got to do some mining in my free time this season because I want to get the mortar again. I'm very bad about getting the mortar unlocked. Oh, my pet ended. Time to move on to the next pet. So this guy virtually mines 0.15% of all blocks, jackhammered and vein minored, which is just a higher chance of activating enchants, which is uh, pretty freaking sick. Love that. Big fan. I might as well start getting some levels into Black Hole, because I think the next level is, yeah, 75, which is not worth it, and then 100 for those two. Hey, Lottery got me a free pickaxe level and 2.76 trillion tokens. Absolutely massive. Uh, I got a decent amount of tokens. It doesn't look like a decent amount, but it's a decent amount. Oh, I just realized I'm only six ranks away from 100. That's actually massive. Let's go. Not much time left on this pad. I need one more rank up. That's it. Come on. Can I get some of those sick, nasty jackhammer procs? We got one already. There's two. Just one more. And I hit 100 and pick my first ornament. Now, I got to really think about this one. I'm thinking rank up or pickaxe boost. Honestly, I'm just leaning rank up. It feels like it could be a bad decision, but it's the only thing I really struggle with. Ah, uh, my pet expired. No. No. Oh, so sad. But I feel like I've made some pretty good progress. 112, 113 on my rank, 75 in the pickaxe, which does unlock um gem finder and orb finder well i guess in the next one i'll have to get orb finder so i can start slowly working on getting some armor now i do technically need 500 more blocks for this so you know what i'm gonna mine just a little longer so i can try and get that and that should be enough right yeah perfect so let me go through and check my milestones i'll check robots and everything in between so that I can get as many tokens as possible. Okay, well, I should probably cut in and at least show this. I think I, yeah, I just unlocked Shadow Clone. Um, so now I've got level two Lumberjack, level one, level one, level one, level two, and level one. So, of course, I'm gonna go with Shadow Clone. It's my absolute favorite. Oh, I forgot also one of my things was to open a Relic Cache, so I also got that done. That's good. Finally done with all that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up these last bit of, uh, skin boxes, and of course, grab all of these beautiful shards. That's a level of everything. I've got every single one, even Reaper. Oh my god, that's insane. 
Now, the last thing I do want to go ahead and do is check my robots, of course, claim the tokens from them, and like I said, I want to throw all of my tokens into some of my best robots, so that next time, I will be absolutely rich when it comes to, hopefully, tokens and gems. But that is it for this one. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you didn't, you haven't yet, leave a like on it, subscribe for more, join the server, all the information down in the description, Akuma MC on top. I'll see you guys in the next one.